pushed off a viral TM. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. They know me. I'm Kim Folk. Everybody favorite, of course. This my partner in crime, Trap Sid, the one and only. You know what I'm saying? And so we want you to tell everybody three things. We're gonna ask you to tell everybody who you are, where you from, and what the fuck you do. Words. So for one. Oh, you can take the mic, bro. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. You know, I like to take my time and do it slow sometime. But hey, for one, I am Pyro TM. I was born and raised in, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina. And what I do, I pour concrete for a living. I work for Blythe Development. I've been a musician in church all my life. So what y'all hear is basically based in church. My name even came from church. So really? Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. So tell us how you got your name, because that was going to be my first question. All right, so how I got my name, my brother, he's a battle rapper named Taz in Jersey, Camden, shout out. But he told me, he was like, yo, when you play music, you know how to manipulate it and make it fire. So I'm going to call you Pyro. Mm. He told me that while I was sitting on the organ on a Sunday morning, and that's how the name Pyro was born. Somewhere different, like what? No, we ain't gonna talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Off camera, off camera. <laughs> right. Hey, so so tell me though, like you just you sitting here with us because you were on training day and shit, bro. Right, so tell right. me what that experience was like. Like, what you think about falling through there? You ever been to something like that before? Talk to us about that. Nah, I had never been there before, but Coso had told me like, yo, I'll be performing at the spot on Monday nights. Come through, you got a couple songs. Just get out here and see if the people feel you. Yeah. My first couple times, you know, when my first time was R and B night. I was nervous as hell. <laughs> My songs is good, but you know what I mean? There was a new crowd, so I was nervous. Voices cracking and everything, but the more and more I go, it's like training day. I feel like I'm at home now. Right. On Monday nights, it's like, hey, especially Thursday nights now? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I can't wait. Thir- every other Thursday is clean rap and B night. Mm-hmm. Now, the first half of the show be clean rap. Mm-hmm. Second half be R&B. But I'm telling you, you do not want to miss every other Thursday at Crown Station telling you you shouted out Koso already uh you see any anybody out there that you want to um, collab with in the future or you see yourself in the with? man listen shout out to big dog easy shout out to guap baby shout out to 808 shout man there's so many everybody at training day real talk everybody you know what i mean the people who want to work i'm open to work man big dog easy we got something coming me and Koso got two joints coming one of them is r&b so you know I'm gonna make Koso bring the Sadiddy part of him out. So that we're gonna go ahead and do that. For, you know, we're gonna go ahead and do that. You know. So I guess uh, my next question for you would be where do you see music taking you? Or where do you hope that music takes you? I hope music take me take me on the journey and I just keep writing. And one thing I want my music to do is to really connect with people. Like all the fame and fortune, yeah, that's cool. But it's nothing like sometimes being in a funk or feeling a certain type of way, and you hear a song, and you're like, damn, somebody else felt that way. You know what I mean? And a song can change your whole day, I promise you. So, if you, so, like, well, let's talk about your team game, because your team game is kind of crazy. Okay? A little bit, yeah. Let's, let's not be humble here. <laughs> so, would you rather be a writer for the rest of your life, like, just write songs for people, or would you rather be a singer for the rest of your life? Like, if you could only choose one, if I could only choose one, <clears throat> I'd probably say be a writer. Okay. That's tough. Just because, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. I know what that life is like, and I have three boys. So time away from them right now, it'll hurt me because one is seven, one is two, and my youngest is one. So let's say if I make it big by the end of the, by the, end of the year, and they're like, yo, come on tour, come on tour, come on tour. Three years that fast is gone. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And my boys are... And my boys, you know, coming up in school, they playing sports, they winning championship games. And how I know that because my father was in prison for 12 and a half years. So I know how it feels to accomplish something. And your father is not there and your family is not there to take a toll on you. Do, you. do you try to put a message into your music at all for them or do you kind of make music just to more so just express, you know what I'm saying, you? Most definitely, most definitely. But uh, you know what I mean? My main thing about music, I'm going to give you all truth. I'm gonna give you the heartbreaks. I'm gonna give you my uptime, my downtimes. Like, and the thing about me is crazy. You said my pen game is crazy because I can take a situation. 
I was talking to a female for two days, but make it seem like we was together for ten years. Nah, nah, nah. See, they ain't gonna do that to you. Come on now. Look, bro. So tell you. me this: What's the wildest place music has landed you as far as on that type of regard or aspect? You know what I'm saying? Fooling with the ladies. What's the wildest shit you done got? The wildest w- night you remember song. The wildest night I remember was last Monday night. <laughs> I was coming to do uh think of you, and CK was like, "Listen, uh, uh-uh, uh, switch that up." Yeah. So cool. So. I'm doing take my time, you know, I'm connected with the crowd, and all of a sudden, whoever this chick was, I don't know who she was, but, you know, she started dancing, and she wrapped the leg around me and all that, so I'm like, all right, cool, I went with it, I went improv, I went back up to the front, I'm singing, by the end of the song, she done came to me, opened my legs, and doing a split, and twerking, and doing what, I'm for real, it's footage, oh, it's footage. It's trust me. So that's I say that it had to be the wildest night. That it had to be the wildest night. Yeah, shout I did. So Mondays. yeah, shout out to Mondays training day for real. Shout out to fucking Mondays. Already. Um, so let's talk about take your time because that's the song that you went with. Right, right. What's the meaning? Yeah, I love that song. So what's the meaning behind that song, or what was like your State of mind at the time when you wrote it. I mean, it's just grown man status because a lot of women, let's just be real, they my age, you know, I'm 29, 30, and a man has never made love to them. <clears throat> they have never experienced making love. That's crazy. I, I'm, I'm just saying. So, and then when I wrote Take My Time, it was one of my experiences. Like, it, that's a real experience. Like we get, we was done kissing the tight, kissing in the tight hug, and you know what I mean. She looked at me like, "What did you just do to me?" Yeah. Oh, you ain't never had a man do that to you, for real. Oh, okay. So, I just wrote on that. Like I said, I could take, I could take a day and make it seem like five years. Yeah. For real, well, y'all I, gonna see, man. Y'all, I promise you, y'all gonna see. I got another question. I always ask artists this because I really want to get a little bit into their mind. But would you rather be? Timeless artist or a relevant artist? <sighs> That's tough. I say re- relevant because my music, I put my all into it. So I'm not just going to give you something. You just go look at it like, oh, that's trash. Nah, nah. So it has to be relevant. And I'm going to make you, like, you're really going to feel it because that's what I do. I'm not into making the crowd dance and move and all that. I want to connect with you. Sit down and listen to what I'm saying. First, Mally Music, uh, the Hamiltons, Anthony Hamilton, of course, them boys. It's crazy, I promise you. Uh, J Moss. Yeah, J Moss. I'm, and you know, even the Quartet Music Groups, Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs. Like, if you listen to my music, you hear harmonies all throughout it. And I was raised on that. So, but it's it's a few, and lyrically. J. Cole, Kendrick, you know, people like that. Jay, you study like how they, right, okay. right. I did good. I can tell that by your personality and just talking to you and getting to know you over the weeks. So. Right, right. You spilling all of that, though, what you been working on. Right. You talking about Man, like that. I, I've been, I've been working. I got something coming called Show Me. Okay. You know, that's going to be, you know, real slow. I got a joint called A Day Inside My Heart, which I actually performed at training day. I told y'all I gave it to y'all raw, haven't recorded it yet. I got that coming, and of course with Big Dog Easy, I got a feature coming with him, and two features coming with Koso. So Individual it's gonna be. Oh yeah, we working on it. We working on it. What visual we getting first? Can you tell me? Nah, I can't tell you that. Can't you can't nah, I can't. I can't because because the people because because the people because the people that's putting it together for me telling me, listen, we we doing this, but shh. All right, cool. How soon? Is it? Can you tell me? Very that? soon. Very soon. Like, like end of the summer. Like, By the end of the summer. End of the summer, not soon. It's very soon. No, no, no. I'm putting some fire behind your ass. You need something in June. You need something in June? You need something in June. All right. Listen. All right. Even okay. Even if it's just a little studio visual. I got you. Cool. I got you. I got you. You see? 
Yeah, I, I got you. My partner, <laughs> boy, she cold. Hey, man, she be on us, man. She be on you for real. I'm telling you, no doubt, though. But, nah, we definitely, I appreciate you sliding through here and popping through. I liked her, uh, the little sample that you just dropped earlier. Mm -hmm. I really want to kind of listen to that. So, I know that you ain't did nothing to it yet. I want to see what you're going to do to it. Yeah, trust me. Y'all going to love that one. Bro, be in here singing to the ladies. Do You, you want to do something right now, acapella, though? I, I usually ask you to play this hit in the quitter game. But I don't really have a button. But I'm going to still ask you to put you on the spot for a little something. You for got a, something, you know, something. An exclusive, bro. <clears throat> no advisory. Uh, <clears throat> something I was working on. I'm sitting up all night, fighting tears, trying not to cry. I know, I know you hate to fuss and fight, but love hurts when it ain't right. That's something that's coming. Yeah. So, you know. Dang, I put me on the spot. But it's cool. So drop a gem. We always have artists come drop a gem, something that you want to leave for the people, any advice, quote, speech, whatever. Pauly the Give told me this the first time he met me. Seek what you speak until you see what you spoke. Mm. That's a hell of a gem. See what you speak. Mm -hmm. See what you spoke. Yep. Seek what you speak until you see what you spoke. Right. What's the last thing you put in your mouth that wasn't blunt? It wasn't weed and it wasn't food. A black mouth? Okay. You'd be surprised at the answer you get. Uh -uh. <laughs> I mean, my name is Mr. Nothing. Wait. Yeah. See, yeah. What? But nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, you won training of the night. You got your interview. Mm -hmm. Have you tapped in with anybody else from the past week? Yeah, I tapped in with a CEO. I went over there, laid something with him. I was hoping you was going to say that. So yeah. Because mm -hmm. you walked right into it. <laughs> so, what y'all working on? Uh, the Big Dog Easy Joint. That's what oh, we did. You know. You know, Justin produced that? Nah, nah. I mean, you know, I was there. He got the beat together. Okay. He helping me put it together, you know. It was only an hour, so I'm going back to him. You know, he's and really he's he's a cool dude to work with, mm -hmm. for real, for real. Like I know sitting down and really having time with him, I know we can make something. And we also talk, but you know. Yeah. And also Zy, can't can't forget him. Zy, I'm working with him soon too. Dang, that's gonna be fire. That might be cool imagined. together. I was thinking that earlier. Mm -hmm. I couldn't think of the name. But yeah. yeah. Right, right. Are you going to do something different for the ladies? Are you going to switch it up? I mean, because last Thursday you came in with the hat and the, the dress shirt and the nice pants and the slacks. So, you know, you was all good. But, I mean, y'all, training they said that to me. Like, they let me know the first R&B night, listen, we don't wear sneakers and you better come dressed on your grown man. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't know me. Okay, cool. So, I just stepped out like that. And then I was raised with my grandfather, so the top hats, fedora hats and all that. I'm used to seeing that. Oh, I got to so, tap in with you. That means you know where to get them at. Yo, believe it or not, I got them from Amazon. Oh, no, and no, it's no, crazy because some people I need somebody to make them from Amazon. Yeah. I know a guy out here that makes some. Yeah, like, oh, but I mean, I do have. Oh, I have some. I have mm -hmm. some. Yeah. And but. so, last question. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll ask questions. I got questions. <laughs> Yeah. More like me and this producer by the name of Young Ice. That's who's been helping me, like, produce all my stuff. I even had some music come with him, too. He came, oh, he was a, ago, yeah, right? yep. a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He just dropped a song called Sobriety. Another one called Slide In. Like, he's real nice. Okay. Like, he helped me keep my pen game right. If you don't believe me, just go listen to him. Okay, okay. I promise you. But we be in the studio, and he helped me, you know, say this, say this, harmonize this, harmonize that. You know, we just get together, and we just create. We try different things, and whatever come out the best. Like, I'd be over there with him seven, eight hours. Like, take my time. Mm -hmm. I was in the studio for 10 hours. Mm -hmm. I could see that, though. 
because at first take my time didn't sound like that yeah. it didn't it sounded completely different well, was it the cadence or was it just like the cadence of it yeah it was a little bit faster you know and i was rapping but i was like nah i can't be doing no rapping on this like let me just let me just give me an hour give me an hour and i came back and there you go take my time would you ever do a rap song yeah yeah oh i have yeah. i have beats that oh y'all would be surprised trust me trust me you got to keep one in the chamber always oh my fault would you ever do like <laughs> she'd be having bars don't listen to the oh i know she every monday it. night <clears throat> trap shit she on it nah but um would you ever like switch lanes and go into a different genre or you know yeah uh, yeah yeah um i want to be very versatile like i even have a whole gospel album written right now I just want people to just accept me for who I am. You know what I mean? Because people put a lot of standards on, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. And if you look up the word gospel, it means the truth. So what I'm doing right now, my song messages, that's the gospel. I'm singing the truth. You got an old soul, bro. You be so young. Yeah, yeah man. You wise, bro. Raised by my grandparents, bro. <laughs> for real. You definitely a wise soul. And yeah. humble. You got to be. All right, so last thing. Well, first, I'm going to say put some respect on my motherfucker. Nah, I ain't even like that. But <laughs> nah, but for real, I'm Pyro TM. You know, check me out. You can find me on YouTube, P-Y-R-O-T-M, Instagram, P-Y-R-O underscore T-M 91. This is real soul music and music for the ladies. So fuck with me. It's, it's up. I promise you. And there's way more to come. Way more to come. This is just the beginning. Now officially part of the Black Council. Word, word. You bonded by blood now. <laughs> <laughs> You've been initiated, my boy. Right. That's what's up. That's what's up. But that's Love. it. That's it. I don't got nothing else to say. So, she, I'm Mal. It's your girl, Trap C. Here with everybody's favorite, Kim Folk J, and our special guest for the day, Pop.